Hello, everybody. So where in the Bible does it say that Jesus had a BMW or offering or that he went to church on Sunday like we do? And by we, I mean me and other Christians out there. Where in the Bible does it say that Jesus went to an evangelical or Pentecostal church like we have today? Because I guarantee you, if he were to come back on earth and see what these pastors are preaching about in his name, he would be mad. He would take a whip with cords and he would he would get ready to cleanse the church and he, the temple. He would he cleansed the temple. He can cleanse the church and get those lies and that filthy sin out of the church house. And he would say, who is the pastor who started this mess? I'm going to wear him out. And the and the and Jesus would come and wear out the pastor who's been lying and getting offering just to get money in a private jet and BMW. How dare anybody use his word like that? How dare anybody use somebody to get money so they can buy a private jet and BMW and a mansion and all these things that they don't really need because that doesn't get you to heaven. Jesus told the rich man to give to the poor, that shall have treasure in heaven. Jesus told the rich man, he quoted him the Ten Commandments, thou shall not steal, thou shall not kill, thou shall not lie, honor your mother and father, thou shall not take the Lord's name in vain, thou shall not commit false accusations against thy neighbor, thou shall not covenant, thou shall have no other gods before the Lord, before the Father, thou shall not commit adultery, thou shall not fornicate, Jesus quoted all the Ten Commandments of the rich man because the rich man asked which ones and Jesus quoted it. But then after that, the rich man told Jesus, not my words, these are their words. It's in the Bible. Read the New Testament. It says that, Jesus. read the book of John. It quote, correct me if I'm wrong in that in the comments. Jesus told the rich man, after he, told, after he quoted him the Ten Commandments, the rich man says, all these things are kept my youth up. That means when the rich man, when the rich man told that to Jesus, Jesus looked at him like, there's one thing that you lack, and that's being perfect. Jesus told the rich man, there's one thing you lack, and that's being perfect. The rich man was kind of offended, like he didn't know what to say. Jesus said, follow me. The rich man didn't say a word, but he walked away. That shows Jesus that the rich man did not want to walk in Jesus' footsteps in his ways. So the 12 disciples behind him, Jesus were looking at the rich man and his guys like, did they just walk away from Jesus? Like, really? Because you're rich? Like, they think you have everything? Because the rich man had a lot of wealth and Things he needed in this world. Um, and the apostle, and Jesus said, Verily I say unto thee, It is easy for a camel to go through the eye of the needle, for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, excuse me. The apostle, I burped, sorry, excuse me. The apostle John says, Who then could be saved? And Jesus said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. So with God, all things are possible. So whose side are you guys really on, especially Christians? The side of Christ, with all things you can do through Christ who strengthens you, or the one like the rich man? Comment below. Because you're either with God and the with, and against the world, or you're with or you're against God and you're with the world. Choose a side. There's no in between. There's no middle ground. You either have one or you have the other. Or not. It's your choice. Because if you follow the ways of God, everything is possible. He can make a way for you. He can handle what you have or what you don't have. God is bigger than just your things you're going through. Just give it to him. I did. <laughs>